again. Um, a quick apology. Acle Studios has done a very similar video to this one. Um, complete coincidence, and I'm sorry, but that's uh, that's life. Um, now, it's how to photograph a bottle using the same technique as Tips and Tricks 7, and I hope you enjoy it, and uh, let's get on with it. The subject we're going to shoot is a bottle uh, of apple alcohol and a couple of apples, maybe we'll cut one in half, we'll look at that later. But how I started, of course, is put the torch and project the bottle onto the background. Now if you've looked at uh, Tips and Tricks 7, you'll see why. But anyway, I won't bore you with doing all that again. Um, so I'll just draw onto the background where the bottle is and then we'll carry on. So this will show you, you should be able to see the outline I've drawn. Uh, the outline I've drawn on the background um, is there and I've put a ruler just to demonstrate. It's about 46 centimetres high um, on the drawing at the background. Now whereas the bottle itself is only about 30, yeah, 31 or 30 centimetres high. So what we're going to do now is cut out the shape at the back. Now you can imagine if you don't use that projection system uh, how long that will take you to do and get it accurate. Now the easiest way of doing that is to actually remove the card. Um, now what I would do when I remove the card is just mark a little bit the height and where it finishes because if I'm going to remove the card I have to know um, where I'm going to put it back. Now I'll mark it on the wood at the back so I know exactly the height and I'll mark it on the two sides so I know exactly where I'm going to put it back. Now as long as the camera doesn't move it means that everything will still be in line. Now I've cut um, two pieces in fact, exactly the same. I've cut the white one, cut the white one. Now you don't have to get paranoid about it, it doesn't have to be exact, it just has to be a very close um, example. Now I've done, also done a black one because we might, we might want to shoot it on black. We'll see. So we just put that back, same height, same width. Very simple because I've got it all marked on the wood at the back. Um, so that's almost there, that's there, that's the right height, and that's the right place in the width. And then we've just got to get it standing upright. There we go. So that's in exactly the same position. So what I've done now is just uh, I've got the hole in the card and I've just put a light behind it for now. And it doesn't matter how, this is all rough lighting. Now that's the backlight in place now um, and you'll see if I move to the right you can just see the hole. If I move to the left you can see the hole and it's throwing light up quite nicely in the bottle. So um, that's again the start and only the start. It's quite a pleasing light coming through the bottle but this is a build up so that we're going to leave like that for the moment. Except I'd like to show you how it changes uh, as I rise, raise and drop the light. It's quite interesting. So if I drop the light, you'll see quite a big difference in the light in the bottle. And if I raise it, you'll see how that changes as well. So I've yet to choose that because I need someone moving the light for me. So the next thing is to decide how we're going to light the bottle. Well for that, I'm going to turn out all the other lights in the studio and just leave that one. Now, that shows us immediately that we've got a problem. And what's the problem? Um, the light is coming through the background. Now if that really does cause a problem in the future, I'll just lay the black uh, piece I've cut behind it and that'll stop that becoming transparent. But we'll We'll see. It's in fact quite a thick card. I'm surprised that much light's coming through it, but uh, we'll see. In the, we'll see later. 
I just want to light it from this side just to give a bit of light on the apple and I'll probably put a bit more back in the apple there. Um, so really it's very simple, big softbox. The rear light is turned a little to the left and I'll show you what that gives from the camera angle. Now from the camera angle this is what it gives. Now you can obviously see that there's much too much light coming through the back and not enough um, coming on the side. So it's a question of balance. Now if I turn off the back light for the moment, we can see what um, the side light's doing. And of course it's much too dark. So if I <coughs> lighten it a few stops, we can then... See that's quite nice. So that's quite a nice exposure. But if I light it in the background, I'll do now, you'll see how the background is. So the background is much, much too bright. There's much too much light coming through. So I've now got to balance them. Now with video, that's difficult because the contrast levels are different on video. It never looks the same. So from now on, we're going to have to take pictures. So just to show you how difficult it is making these videos, this is exactly the same lighting uh, as you've just seen on the video. So that's why I have to take pictures. Now with this one, all I've done is uh, double the light coming through the back and that looks now quite a good balance. I'll play with it probably a bit, but uh, as it's not for a final shot, we're not too worried. Now what's the biggest problem with the shot so far? Um, my background's not big enough. I, I used a piece of card that was uh, too small, so that's to bear in mind. Um, and the apple definitely is not the right green, but um, let's carry on and see where we can get to. Well, this is it right out the camera. Um, we've got some dust on our sensor up here. Uh, so that's interesting. I have to get rid of that in retouching. The two white points I'll retouch out. The apple is nowhere near the color. Well, we can see it's not too important, but uh, as we're not going to use it uh, for any reason, this, uh, this picture. But uh, there we are. Um, fully retouched, very quickly done. I've added a bit of background very quickly, I can see the lines, and I've greened up the apple. But um, as I say, that was done like lightning, just for the video. So uh, there we go, I'm quite pleased with that. Now let's have a look at the set. We can see the bottle, we can see the soft box. We've got the black card on the back of the white panel with a hole in it, and the light that's coming through it. Now what else have we got? We've got a reflector, just on that side of the bottle and the apple. It's a very simple setup, and the famous black card. Now the black card is there to stop the light getting into the lens, to stop flare. And you'll notice that the last pictures are a lot more contrasty than the videos because, uh, because of that black card. It's very important. So you see, it's a very, very simple setup. Now I know a lot of people want to know about exposures and things. The backlight is a 250 head and it's on a quarter power. The snoot is on a quarter power and it's a 450 head. It loses a lot of light um, of course because of the snoot. And the main light that's on half power and it's a 250 watt second head. So very very simple. The exposure is, uh, I think, at f, yeah, f16. So that's f16, 160th of a second for the flash, of course. Now, any light will do this. I mean, all you need is to play around. You don't necessarily need expensive flash for this. Bedside lights, you can do it with anything. Well, that was that. Um, finished. I hope you enjoyed it. Uh, come and see us on mccorder.com. And uh, have a good afternoon, or evening, or morning, or weekend, or 